So, we're joined here by Beth Potter. Amazing, amazing race tonight, okay, yeah. and you managed to get under the qualifying time. How, how, was, it, how was it out there? Uh, yeah, it's pretty windy. I was half thinking beforehand, I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> I was going to save myself a lot for a next week, but I'm so glad I did it, yeah. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what, when you first came down to the track and you saw the wind, okay, did you think that was, you know, game over? What was going through your mind? Um, I was a bit concerned, uh, definitely, but... Um, I said to Mick, I was like, oh, should I do it? And he was like, yeah, just do it, you'll be fine. So, yeah, it was good to enjoy it. I did Bucks last weekend and it was pretty windy at Bedford, so, yeah, I'm getting used to the wind now. <laughs> and it was a little bit unusual having, uh, was this the first time you've ever ran with uh, fans on the track, on the uh, on fourth lane? Uh, in England, yeah. When I was in America a couple of weeks ago and they were literally in lane two. And it was really nice, but, um, yeah, the support out there was really good. So, out of zero to ten, how excited are you, OK, for the, for the rest of the season and how it could go? Um, I was, yeah, very excited I'm following it at 10 now yeah. and f- future races what are you looking at now um, I'm not sure I might do Watford 5k next week and then chop up maybe do a couple of 15s would you go for the f- 5k qualifying time as well I, I think I missed it by half a second <laughs> so you're going to go for it again yeah, yeah? I'll go for it again yeah. <laughs> thank you very much and congratulations thank tonight you. Beth Potter thank